Eddington has died at the age of 68 from a rare form of skin cancer. He'll be best remembered for his part as the suburban neighbour Jerry in The Good Life and for the vacillating minister in Yes Minister, which was sold in more than 50 countries. Our arts correspondent Nick Hyam looks back at his career. Fame came late to Paul Eddington. He was 47 when he first played the conventional neighbour Jerry in The Good Life on television. Five. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it marvellous, Jerry? Yes, I've always wanted to stand at a pigsty in the middle of the night. <laughs> Will you hold that light steady? Just trying to see what I'm standing in. His long stage career included the first production of Alan Bennett's 40 Years On, a picture of public school life amid disasters like Dunkirk. I saw some of them in the park on my way to the ministry. Hundreds of them just stretched out on the grass in their stocking feet. One boatload landed right on the common steps. As one of Britain's finest comic actors, he shone opposite Nigel Hawthorne in the witty political satire of Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister, playing the vain but frequently baffled Jim Hacker. Greater love hath no man than this, that he should lay down his career. <laughs> You're threatening me. No, Minister, I'm helping you. <laughs> you see, Jim, there's one other quality Prime Ministers need. The killer instinct. <laughs> the killer instinct. <laughs> Paul Eddington's own politics were rather different from Jim Hacker's. He was a Quaker who once clashed with Yes Minister's writers. On one occasion, I felt that the author's impartiality was slipping a tiny little bit when they made a bit of mock of nuclear-free zones and things like that. Well, I'm a pacifist. I make no secret of the fact that I'm a supporter of CND and so on. And I said to them, look, this is going a bit far, isn't it? I, I don't mind saying this, but it doesn't sound quite as impartial as you usually are. And they did tone it down a tiny little bit. So far, so he was good. a brave man whose Which courage so shone through when he was struck down by a rare and disfiguring itself. skin cancer, though his one. choice of like epitaph, epitaph was typically be, unassuming. I, said, I think I would like it to be... He did very little harm. And that's not easy. Uh, most people seem to me to do a great deal of harm. If I could be remembered as having done very little, that would suit me.